Hello folks. So in today's video, we are going to look at how to make this interesting looking plant for the January prompt plants. So let's get started. So first we will drop in our primary ops. So we'll get started with main loop, uh, drop in a sequence operator. Lock it into a render to texture operator. Drop in a image compose. Draw image pair. And connect everything to a full screen rectangle. So in order to kind of make that shape, what we are going to use here is a mesh instancer op. And we are going to hook it up to a parametric surface op to kind of get our shape. So what is a parametric surface? A parametric surface is kind of like a mathematical uh, defined 3D mesh. So if you look at the documentation, you kind of uh, get to see what it does. So it gives you access to all of these different shapes uh, on the basis of some mathematical functions for X, Y, and Z. Now here you have like a list of different kinds of shapes that you can create already. Uh, so for the positions, we are going to use something called the Archimedes spiral. Let's drop in an orbit to con orbit controls op to kind of see what's going on. So we see that we have like a nice spiral. Uh, there's also this other op I would like to point out. It is called show normals. So it helps you visualize like the different points, the different kind of aspects of your geometry. Um, so you can see like normals, tangents, and bitangents and kind of leverage them uh, for this particular thing. So let's get this out of the way, disconnect this, plug it in here. So for this spiral, we are going to kind of change these uh, values a bit because we do not need so many points and stuff. So we are going to make 29 U segments, one V segment. So if we have one V segment, then in show normals, you see that we have like approximately two points for each vertex, right? So we want to kind of reduce that to one point. Uh, and we are going to extract this geometry in terms of points. So geometry points gives you all of these vertices, uh, colors, tangents, and all of these stuff. And we have like 180 points. Uh, so if we divide that by two, that is kind of 90 points. So that's what we are going to do. Reduce that by half. So let's get this, uh, do an array unique. And set this to X, Y, Z. So we now have 180 values, uh, which is kind of the same as earlier. So it does not really make sense, but let's do an array unpack three. So what array unpack does is kind of breaks down this three X kind of values into like three parts. So we had 180 values earlier. Now we have like 60 values for each of these three arrays. Now let's uh, to array uniques for this and this. And for the middle one, we are going to do an array unpack two. And why is that? Because if we look at the values in this one, you see that all of them are kind of either this value or this value. So we will just divide it into two arrays and kind of use one of them. So for this, we have, uh, let's do X. For this also, let's do X. So we have like 30 values each for the two of these. And let's combine all of them using an 
Are we back? Okay. So now we have our first array for the points, which are like 90 points down from our 180 points initially. And then we are going to add in a mesh instance of connect this to the positions. Uh, and we need another geometry for the petals sort of thing. So we are going to use another parametric surface. So this operator is nice in the sense that uh, you can use kind of any parametric surface that you want, which might also not be included in this list. So if you look at the documentation, go to this particular link so you see that there are like lots and lots of shapes that you can actually use so for our purpose we are going to use something called the drop so you see these are our kind of formulas for generating this particular shape and we are going to use a part of this shape in order to make our petals so let's go back to our patch and then start constructing this. So I will add in these formulas for the shape. So you see it kind of changing its shape uh, in the viewport. So we have kind of like this shape, but it still looks like a bit weird. Uh, for that, we'll need to kind of tweak the other values a bit. So let's change this to 0 0.47 and this to 0. So it looks like this now. And for the other one, we are going to use minus 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.78. So I'm using these values because uh, I already tested it out and kind of uh, this is what works for this particular tutorial. But feel free to kind of play around with the values and get the kind of stuff that you want. Uh, we'll connect this to a transform geometry. And connect this to the mesh instancer hide this so now we can't see anything so we will drop in our materials uh, let's also drop in a clear color while we are at it and for the materials let's use a PBR material environment light PBR material and connect this to a texture an RGBE texture Okay, so we have all of these uh, sort of petals and it's kind of too big. So we will drop in a transform view and scale it all down 0.37. I think that's kind of okay. So you see like all of these are arranged in that spiral, but uh, the kind of shape, uh, the kind of shape it uh, forms is kind of uh, all of them are in the similar direction so we will need to change that also we can increase these to 1.9 1.9 so that they are bigger and they kind of uh, they can kind of form a cluster also we will change these angles a bit so minus 133 27.7 and the other thing that we need to do is kind of get all of these uh, tangents that you saw earlier and uh, feed that into these uh, rotations uh, kind of mode. So let's take this, do an array unpack uh, three. 
again we are going to do sort of like a similar operation uh, to kind of reduce the number of points plug them all in and then take uh, these values and pack them again and I pack So now that you have that, we will do an array unpack again. So if we just connect this to this, then you see that like they don't change as much, only slightly because all of the values range from kind of uh, 0 to 1. So. Uh, we are going to have to kind of tweak that a little bit. Uh, so another array pack comes here. We connect this and this. We connect it to this one. And then we are going to add in an array math operator. Uh, same for this and then add in like a bunch of values for both so for this one we are going to add minus 90.16 we can also do like a subtraction but uh, I mean it's the same thing uh, then for the other one we are going to do minus 11.76 and for the second value, what we are going to do is uh, get an array operator. So we want it to kind of gradually change. So we will just take an array operator, get this array length, it will be the same. And for this number, we are going to go for something like one, two, three, four. So we are getting like a progression uh, of values. And then we are going to do some mathematical operations on them. So one addition and one multiplication and then connect this back to the middle one. So you see there is some kind of variation for the angles and stuff. Now if we change this to 0 0.8 and if we change this to a big number like 317.8. 97. So we are like going for like 360 degree angle kind of a thingy. So we are going with that big value. And in this uh, operator, we are going to also tweak these values. So it's like 0, 20. And two, and for the other one, we are going for zero, zero point one, and uh, minus three. So that's fine. So we see that it is kind of taking the shape, uh, but it looks kind of like too close together. So we want to kind of distance them out a bit. So what we are going to do is take another array. Uh, change this add a length to 30 so that we get like the values 90 values in total uh, and then uh, we are going to do another array math operation connect this to the middle okay it's uh, too big I guess um, let's see so let's change this to 0 to 1, change this to 1, and this to 0 0.24. And yeah, we have like some nice looking shape in here. So we have like 30 values, uh, but what we want is like 90 values because these other two uh, arrays have like 90 values. In, so we'll just change this number to. 90 and now you have all of these nice looking kind of petals and stuff and 
yeah so that's about it uh, that's our base so for the core we can kind of connect this to a cylinder and then uh, kind of make it sit nicely in the center add in a transform uh, transform it along the x-axis uh, by 90 degrees and then kind of reduce the height change the height and instead of connecting it here we can connect it in below PBR environment light so that we can also use the PBR material on this one and uh, finally we can like color all of it using a color map select uh, value from the color palettes and uh, make it smooth and change the value and there you go we also have this block that you can kind of get rid of uh, if you change the length of this bring this up a bit and you have this nice looking uh, flower so yeah I guess that's about it let me know what you think see you in the next one